Hi, my name is Tapin Kadi. I'm currently a professor in the Department of Leukemia at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Today I'd like to talk about a few of the, the biggest developments uh, in the treatment of AML and ALL. Uh, some uh, data reported at the recent American Society of Hematology meeting in December 2022. Um, uh, in AML, I think the biggest advances have been sort of optimizing the use of venetoclax. As we know, venetoclax uh, is approved for the treatment of older and unfit patients with newly diagnosed AML in combination with lower intensity therapy. But as we uh, try to research uh, and do more studies with venetoclax, we're starting to look now at younger and fit patients with newly diagnosed AML and starting to combine them with intensive chemotherapy. And certainly there are many trials uh, ranging from a 5 plus 2 clinical trial uh, done by the Australian group in combination with venetoclax in patients 60 years or older, as well as combinations of cladribine, idarubicin, and ERAC, or CLIA plus venetoclax, and flag ida plus venetoclax done both at MD Anderson as well as a study from Italy. And what we see uh, with these combinations is dramatically uh, improved response rates as well as improved rates of MRD negative remission as high as 85 to 90 percent MRD negativity, uh, leading to very deep responses. Again, there is a, always a safety concern because of myelosuppression and risk of infection, and so these are being optimized. Uh, during the ASH meeting, we also learned that potentially venetoclax can be given for a few number of days. There was a nice abstract looking at seven days of ASA plus seven days of venetoclax instead of the labeled 28 days of venetoclax. Many of us often uh, reduce the number of days of venetoclax during our treatment uh, ongoing after many, many cycles due to myelosuppression, uh, but this uh, study looked at uh, retrospectively uh, patients who had received only seven days of venetoclax and actually showed outcomes that were very similar uh, to the standard uh, outcomes that we see with VLAA. So that's an AML. and ALL, the, the, the story of the day is antibodies, monoclonal antibodies. For years, we used multi-agent chemotherapy drugs for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Now, with the development of drugs such as blinatumumab, which is a bispecific antibody, as well as inatumumab, which is an antibody drug conjugate, we're able to now use these and incorporate them within our initial chemotherapy regimens. And so there were several studies looking at blinatumab consolidation. So not as MRD eradication, but the, for those patients who are in remission, who are receiving blinatumumab during their consolidation therapy, and two separate studies showed a significant improvement in progression-free survival in those patients. Additionally, uh, these uh, drugs like inatuzumab are also being used for MRD eradication, similar to what blinatumumab was initially studied for. Again, two studies uh, showed that indeed with the combination of inatuzumab in the MRD setting, we can eradicate MRD and therefore improve progression of free survival. And finally, uh, other methods of giving uh, these drugs, there's a subcutaneous blinatumab study. Hopefully, if that shows a similar activity to the intravenous, it can reduce the burden of giving long uh, continuous infusion uh, blinatumab. And finally, combinations such as blinatumab and panatinib, a chemotherapy-free regimen for patients with uh, Philadelphia positive acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So these are just some of the headlines uh, of the great progress that we've made in acute leukemias uh, that were recently presented. Thank you.